How did he get in here? He's supposed to be with a few people outside. How about, how about all week they're talking about the massive crowds that are going to be outside. Where are they? Well, it's hot out. It is hot. I, I think it's too warm. You know, they show up in the helmets and the black masks, and they've got clubs and they've got everything. Antifa! Hold it now. Hold it now. They use violence, and just because they're opposed to fascism and to some of these monuments shouldn't make them heroes of the liberals. I'm a liberal, and I think it's the obligation of liberals to speak out against the hard left radicals. To the Arizona Republic newspaper for arrests after 10.30. Watch this guy. He just kicked a gas can at the cops. What do they do? After he retreats. After he retreats. After he retreats. They shoot him with a rubber bullet. And they turn to political issues, turn to how to beat him politically, and do not let the street, the hard left, the radicals represent the Democratic Party. We have to move to the center, we have to move toward working people, and we have to move away from the two or three radical states and toward candidates who can win uh, two, a year and a half from now and three and a half years and three years from now. April, Organize a, politically, okay. drop the legal stuff. Thank you. And once you do mobilize, that's when you're considered the alt left. That's when you're considered a threat. But they listen to the squeaky wheel because the squeaky wheel is oiled. Should alt left be part of our vocabulary now? It should not. No, 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 no. It should not be a part of our vocabulary. But we're using it. I know, but he said it. The president said it. So I'm just using that just sarcastically. There is just... an alt left and we can't deny it. Who is the alt left? The alt left are radical people who want to deny us free speech, who want to close the campus to conversation, who want to stop people from having dialogue, who want to use violence to stop. Remember that when the communists fought against the fascists in the 1930s, many people supported the communists because it was the only way of fighting the fascists. And look what happened. It did not turn out well with Stalin. We don't... Antifas is not our friend. Okay, they are Alan. not going to help us win elections. Alan, Alan, they may not be you. comparable. Let me finish. They may not be comparable. I don't want to make a moral comparison, but I do not want to give a pass to the hard radical left, which is destroying America, destroying American universities, destroying the Democratic Party, and hurting American liberty and freedom. Alan, so I'm not I, Alan, I think you can the hear hard, hard there's disagreement, and we can't pursue that now. Uh, not everybody agrees with you. This is CNN, home of fake news. If you, were, if you were going to a rally and you were, let's say you were upset with the statue coming down, and you saw people with Nazi symbols and saying anti-Semitic and, and racist things, would you continue to stay there and support them? You, no, Don. Do you think very fine people were among the crowds there? I, I, don't I think would. I, I look. I think people get confused. I think you or I clearly would walk away from those kinds of people. I would also walk away from Antifa. They hold up signs saying "More dead cops." Google that, and you'll see that. They are also supremacists. They are also people who support violence and utilize violence. They didn't kill anybody that weekend, but they may at another time. They have attacked people in the past. I would also walk away from an anti-fa rally. And I would ask, don't you think that's also correct to walk away from them as well? Well, the president did say he thought there were very fine people on both si both sides. And if I think what he meant by that, and maybe I'm wrong, is he meant there are people who think that a statue of a Confederate general, of Robert E. Lee should come down. That's a legitimate position. And there are people who think it's part of our history and perhaps it should stay up. That's a legitimate position. But nobody in, who is a neo-Nazi, nobody who's a skinhead, nobody who's a Klansman, nobody who's within Antifa, in my vision, is somebody who is a reasonable person or a good person. Those are people who are full of hate. I kind of think that's what he intended but to say. Not, I don't think he said it clearly. The same, it sounds like you're, uh, just, for, just for clarity, you're not making the same moral equivalence as for Antifa and and the neo-Nazi folks who are out there, the neo-Nazi racists. The One is they're fighting the fascism and whether their tactics are right, 
You know, we can debate that, but they're not on the same level, are they? You know, the Soviets, the Soviet communists, for a while fought fascists. That did not make them good people. They killed a lot of people, too. A Antifa is full of anarchists and communists, and they are not good people. Now, if you want to say who's worse, yeah, I guess the, at this point, there's no question the neo-Nazis are worse. But that doesn't make Antifa good guys because they dislike people that you and I dislike. I hope we can agree upon that. What about Made when an Antifa right member stabbed a police horse in the neck with a knife? Was the horse a racist Trump supporter? Yes. So <laughs> the horse... I didn't know horses is, could vote. <laughs> you see, the horse is a tool of the police, and yeah. the police, under the Trump administration, have been increasingly intolerant, militarized, racist, and xenophobic. You see it all the time. There have been so many cases of unarmed black men and women, our fellow POCs that have been attacked, shot, and killed okay. by these racist policemen okay. and police women under the Trump administration. Okay. They kill. I think the police are police. actually trying to protect the safety of the citizens that you guys are causing mayhem in front of. But that's besides the point. Why can't you guys peacefully protest like Gandhi or Martin Luther King? You see, we do peacefully protest. Uh, in the case of Martin Luther King, I, not from um, what I see on the video, but go ahead. When they when they were attacked, they certainly defended themselves. When Martin Luther King was shot and assassinated, he uh. Well, I'm not, I'm not comparing you to Martin Luther King. I was just saying maybe you should try to adopt some of their tactics. What what is your goal? Your bottom line goal. Our goal, I like to keep it plain and simple. I like to say we want to smash the fash. And so um, violence by is that, your goal. I mean all types of fascism, racism. Okay, who's the fascist? Um, mainly these right wingers who uh, attack us. They are all over the internet these days and, and they've been emboldened by this administration to show their faces oh. in real life okay, and come so, attack us. So you guys are like a self defense group. You got, is that yes. what you're saying? Okay, got it. We are uh, a self-defense group. Who did you attack. vote for in the election? I voted for Hillary Clinton.